playing the Centurion, and I would have been able to get, like, probably win the game and have, like, 11 kills or something like that. But um, a T92 snapped me in TD mode. And uh, also lit me before I lit him, despite, you know, being a Centurion. So... Seems seems legit. Just already things. Oh god, there's a Kong GC. That's gonna be fun. He just laughed at you. The the best the best arty players are the ones that like they hit you and then they say nice catch or something like that. You know, some snarky comment. Those are the true virgins, but oh well. gonna lose that side so we have to push this quickly well at least we don't have to worry about that because uh, they removed team enemy team chat they have so much invested in the north that we have to basically non-stop push Well, triple arty games are going to be every single game if they introduce the uh, limit to three. Because they're just going to be forced into queue and then every time, you know, they're going to be put into... Three arty battles. Leads into so much hostility. Speak of the devil. No, there's no way. I don't fucking think so. Oh, oh. Oh, I bounced. Is that in front of me? 1990. Oh, 
fuck's sake. Both times it went bottom of the reticle. Well, that's why it's important, I guess, to uh, look at uh, where the enemy is spotted, because then you can know if you can push. Unless you take a gamble based on where the enemy should go, I guess. Uh, well, it's what stabilizer, GLD, and vents. Yeah. Oh shit. Ah! No, 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 no. That was close. Um, yeah, the Russian pubs aren't great, yeah. They're pretty bad. Pretty farm worthy. Hey, Bob. Ah, oh, not too bad, man, you know. Because it doesn't need optics. Putting optics on Russian mediums is an old, very dead meta. Put vents on to improve everything about the tank. Same reason you put food on the tank. I mean, I suppose maybe I put medkit on the tank because 140 just, like, is both fire prone and um, vulnerable to losing crew members, so you're kind of fucked with the 140, but one of the reasons I don't like it. But I'm not, I, you know, I don't know. I wish I could be a fan of the 140, because it is, it is a good tank. It just, I just prefer the 62 and the 907 so much more than this tank. And every time I take it out to play it, you know, I'm reminded of that fact. How the fuck did I not hit that? Well, Willie, I did a comparison video between the 62 and the 140 if you want to check a look at that. Damn. I suppose that would have always been RNGs if I'd hit that one, even with the 140 gun. Oh, yeah, Panther too. Bob, thank you for the resub, babe. One year, I love you. Thanks, Daddy. Um, anyways, um... As for the 430, the 430 is just garbage. I know, I know, Bob, I know. It'll be worth it in the end. I don't mod people for reselling for a long period of time.
I seriously doubt Quickie Baby says the 430 is the best. Even he wouldn't say that. I, well, maybe he did. I kind of hope he didn't. Considering so many people watch this stuff. Well, hopefully that T49 can deal with that M5355 so I can defend the base. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, how did he hit that? why he would go that way. Cap reset. Oh, thank God you said something in chat I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> Double artillery, and we only have the one artillery interesting matchmaker and they also have one more tier 10 no they don't never mind oh i see what it is i thought we had a tier 9 batch shot already but we have a tier 10 that makes more sense even still it's not really balanced it's just a mod for the skin you finished a new build nice one man I can change it if you want. I think it looks cool though. The red and the black. It's like the old Hellraiser's camo. A different pattern, but... Oh, 
Well, if you're enjoying the 30B, continue to enjoy the 30B. It is a garbage medium, but, you know, play what you enjoy. Well, for tanks, you don't actually need a great PC, to be honest with you. Some games you might, but not really for tanks. That being said, you can't have, like, a completely terrible PC. Easy. Oh, how'd you not keep him trapped? Fuck. You hate this camo? Really? I think it looks dank as fuck. That looked like it was at least gonna hit him. This guy has two marks on his T-34B. Actually, I bet that shit's super easy to mark because all the bad players bought him. Maybe some good players, but... I guess he just gave up. This is certainly a team wipe. I like how this guy just basically camped his base and fucked his teammates the entire battle. Oh, that shit! <laughs> oh my god. What do you guys think the odds on this guy being a bot are? I wonder if he's back of the base or over here. I guess we'll soon find out. Uh, neither of those three, Barbusi. Yeah, he must be back there or he's gonna drown himself in like two seconds. Oh no. He was back there. Okay. Um, none of those tanks are particularly good. The CDC is okay, but it's a very high skill cap and not super rewarding unless maybe you play in team battles. 
Um, the ravioli is, again, kind of skill cap to be really effective in it. The FCM as well is kind of skill cap. And the FCM at least has preferential matchmaker, which is kind of nice, but still not a great tank. Um, its gun is less accurate than uh, you would expect it to be compared to like the CDC. Um, if you want to, if you want a premium tank, get this one if you can, um, or the Patriot, whatever the American one is. Um, but those tanks require a great deal of skill to be even remotely as effective as a tank like this. So. I don't like Terry premiums, but if I had to choose, that Liberté is quite good. But I mean, you also want to consider a premium tank that you might be using for crew stuff, so, you know, I don't know. Am I three marking it? Not in this stream. I'm playing the 140 because I don't like the 140 and I'm trying to make myself enjoy the 140 the same way I enjoy the 62A. So, um, yeah. It's too low though. It was like 83%. There's no way I'd mark it in one stream. It would take two or three. Um, and streaming a three mark is quite difficult because obviously I'm reading chat and I'm distracted, so I don't make as good decisions and not focus on the game as much, so. Um, do you not have, you have only French tanks. Okay, um, fuck, I wanted to be where that bulldog is. Why would you make this kind of positional decision with the E50M? It's kind of hoping you would shoot the lights like again. Ah, oh, he turned so sharply. I actually thought I was going to be able to hit him. and sure. Oh, maybe I didn't need to go forward. Fuck. Could probably stay here a little bit longer. How do you grind tanks fast? Do you just play well and put um, all your experience, personal reserves on?
what about other things like premium and buying gold? Um, you don't need to buy gold unless you plan to free XP, but premium is kind of important. Um, I mean, if you're good at the game and you join a good clan, the gold you get from that will pay for your premium. But otherwise, you kind of need to either buy it or wait f to grind your tanks out until you have like premium rewards from, I don't know, um, personal missions. Sometimes you can do a personal mission, they'll reward you with premium sign. It's not exactly the most efficient way to do it, but it is a way. Marking tier 10 is usually easiest. You get top tier in like CDC. Well, the lower the tier you get, the easier the marks become. Tier 10 is the hardest. It's just a mod, Vinko. It's not an actual camo I have. It's one of the Wargaming League camos. I really like it, so I put it on. If you type exclamation mark skin, it should give you the link to the Wargaming League mods. All the camo schemes and everything you can get from it. Oh, how did I not hit that? Apparently we lost, that's quite disappointing. It's really hoping for a win, but our T-32 assures me that that's the case. The best all-round tanks... Well, it's certainly not tank destroyers. I guess they would be medium tanks or certain heavy tanks. You know, so there are heavy tanks that perform similarly to mediums. Um, as well as uh, medium tanks that can perform heavy duty roles. Fuck, that was a terrible shot. Oh, T-69, why would you do that? What? That was like on the hatch. I don't know why he think the poke was a good idea. Yeah, the E5 is probably the single best new player uh, tank line in the game, uh, without a doubt. No, the IS-7 line is still pretty good, but you end up with a better tier 10 if you do the E5 line, and the line is actually still pretty, uh, pretty strong, so. What is that snap? 412 from that. Oh my god. Hooray for T-49s. <laughs> so stick with medium. Heavy is better for new players, Citrus. 
Um, thought, should have just auto aimed it. I think it would have been okay. Oh shit, Xena's here! Xena, I fucking miss you, man. I was just thinking about you the other day, because you were watching some stream. It's like, man, I miss Xena. The IS-7 is under competitive, to be honest with you. What? That's like the... Oh, oh I had APCR. Okay. Actually makes sense then. How does that not track him? I don't... Salt. There we go. Hey, Sane. To be honest, a lot of the old tier 10s have uncompetitive guns. You've got like 